Hello, fantastic viewers. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I made one about a water challenge. And basically, this was my idea of bringing awareness to the difficulties it is for people in other parts of the world to have access to fresh water. So I've been partaking in this uh, challenge slash experiment. And I've been learning a lot. Um, especially of how fantastic a hot water heater is and how great it is to have regular running, running water. I've been using, this is a miniature, but this is what I use to transport water from the bathtub to the stove to heat it in order to really um, sort of live similarly to people who don't have access to it. I mean, it, they don't have running water in their home, so the, the water that they bring in, they have to heat it on a stove, like I do. It takes a very long time, over an hour, um, for me to heat, it in, heat an entire tub, and by the time a full tub is heated, it's more or less half, you know, plus or minus, and it's made me really appreciate baths. Uh, I love baths and I'm not taking showers or baths now as part of this experiment and um, that's definitely a learning experience. Have you ever uh, had water problems or shortage of water uh, in your home um, and how did you treat it? Is Does learning more about how difficult it is to live without fresh water make you want to help out in some way? Cause it makes me want to help out. I feel like if I had to do this forever, I would be a very unhappy person. So that, and I can understand how in other countries it's more difficult for women to have jobs because if you think about it, the cooking and the bathing of children, bathing of cells, the washing of clothes, the fact that you have to go out and get water that doesn't run in your washing machine, doesn't run in your dishwasher, doesn't run in your sink, that's it's quite a process. I mean, just taking a bath takes over an hour to heat up water, you know, on the stove, go, you know, getting water from the tub and coming in here and heating it, you know, turning water on at the street and coming back in to um, turn it on in the tub. So that's my way of trying to act like I'm going to get it, but you know, it's close as I can get. So have you ever had to do anything like this? Have you ever been on a trip or a part of a mission trip where you had to do it? I know. I've heard stories of mission trips needing to live like the local people and, and having to go get water at wells and come. I haven't had to do that. But going to turn it off at the street and coming back in is quite a process. Not quite that much of a process, but let me know your thoughts and what you think about the water shortage in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.